तमाम साथियों को याली मदद एंड थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग अस दिस मॉर्निंग इंशाल्लाह वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ आवर फरमान ऑन बेतुल ख्याल प्रमोशन फरमान व्हिच वाज गिवन टू द मॉन्ट्रियल कनाडा जमात इन नवंबर 2017 Let's start with uh, Imam's blessed name, Nur Malana Shah Karim Al Husseini, Hazri Imam, Hazri Imam. Ya Mulai Merban, Madad Farma, Madad Farma. Ya Mulai Merban, Ya Mulai Merban, Ya Mulai Merban. मदद फरमा मदद फरमा नूर मौलाना शाह करीम हुसैनी हाजिर इमाम या मौला तौफीक ताहिद हिम्मत व यारी मौला तौफीक ताहिद हिम्मत व यारी मौला या मौला हम गरीबों की मदद फरमा मौला या मौलाए मेहरबान हमारे करीब आ जा मौला हमारे करीब आ जा मौला और करीब आ जा मौला और अपने नूर से हमारी दौरवानी फरमा मौला अपने नूर की रोशनी में हमारी हिदायत फरमा मौला या मौलाए मेहरबान अपना मुबारक हाथ हम गरीबों पर रख मौला ताकि हम तेरे साए के नीचे तेरी शफकत के नीचे तेरी ब्लेसिंग के अंदर रहकर कोई खातर खा इल्म का काम कर सके मौला या मौलाए मेहरबान मदद मौला मदद तमाम साथियों को एक बार फिर या अली मदद एंड थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग अस I had promised that we will <clears throat> read this line again because we had many question at the time of promotion how imam separates and if you remember our very end of last week discussion <clears throat> that at the time of promotion or in their hall there are three kinds of murid sitting together one who have forgotten their bowl because this is not their first time they are receiving a bowl so they do not go with those who are receiving the bowl for the very first time second are those murids who says the bowl that i have received earlier is not working for me and i would like additional or another bowl and then there are third kind of murid who says we have completed our bowl and therefore we like to receive an additional bowl in order for us to move forward even further in the last category there can be those who have one bowl two bowl three bowl or even four 
So, with that understanding, we will read this one paragraph again, which we did read last week. But keep this understanding in mind. It will help because there were few questions at the end of the session regarding how there can be more than one kind of murid sitting together and what happens to them. And actually Mola talks about that, that what happens to them, all those different kind of murid. So here, थोड़ा उर्दू में मैं बताता चलूं कि इस पैराग्राफ को हमने पिछले हफ्ते पढ़ा था और नाचीस ने वादा किया था कि हम उसको दोबारा से पढ़ेंगे क्योंकि आखर के अंदर कुछ सवालात आए थे जिसमें दोस्तों ने पूछा कि हम इस बात को किस तरह से समझें कि एक ही हॉल के अंदर अलेदा अलेदा किस्म के लोग मुरीद मौजूद होते हैं यहां पर तीन किस्म के जमात मौजूद होती है एक ये कहते हुए आते हैं कि वो बोल जो हमने पहले लिया था उसको हम भूल गए हैं इसलिए हमें दूसरा बोल इनायत कर दीजिए सेकंड वो लोग होते हैं जो ये कहते हैं कि हमारे पास बोल तो है लेकिन किसी वजह से ये बोल हमारे लिए काम नहीं कर रहा तो हमें एक और बोल इनायत कर दीजिए तीसरी किस्म की जमात वहां पर जो मौजूद होती है वो ये कहते हुए आती है कि हमने अपने बोल को मुकम्मल कर लिया है और हमें और आगे बढ़ना है तो आप हमें एक और इजाफी इस बात को याद रखना इजाफी बोल इनायत कर दीजिए ये जो तीसरी कैटेगरी के, के मुरीद होते हैं उसमें ऐसे भी हो गए जिनके पास पहले एक बोल था या शायद दो बोल थे या शायद तीन बोल थे हो सकता है कि उनके पास अब चार बोल हो जाए ऐसे लोग भी मौजूद हो गए अब अगर हम ये बात समझ गए कि ये लोग यहां पर क्यों होते हैं इसलिए कि ये इन तमाम लोगों ने पहले कभी बोल हासिल किया था तो वो उस जगह नहीं होते हैं जहां पर पहली मर्तबा कोई बोल लेने के लिए आया है उन वो अलग होते हैं जो पहली मर्तबा बोल लेने आए हैं यहां पर वो लोग होते हैं जिन्होंने एक मर्तबा पहले बोल लिया था सो नाउ विद दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट बी इजी फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पैराग्राफ एंड ऑल ऑफ दोस क्वेश्चन would be answered with that understanding and what Imam is saying here. And if you notice, Imam is talking about precisely that. Now you are all here for promotion. And you, the Imam looked at the missionary and pointed to him. He will give you the next board. Next ball. Now remember, Imam is talking to three different type of people sitting there. Three different types of people sitting there. He's talking to all of them together. He will give you the next ball. I am pointing to him so you will recognize him. All right? Don't let him out of the room. Keep him here till he he has given you, all of you, remember three kind of people, the word that is assigned to you because you are at different levels. You see that? You are at the different level. Now we know 
Imam is talking about those three kind of people. The Imam places his hand in front of him and his face down and up. Three different levels like this. But above all, keep in mind that if you sit and you search, so now Imam is talking to all three levels of people there and combinedly giving them instructions regardless of which one, which group you are with. Above all, keep in mind that if you sit and you search, there is no failure. If you think about this line, and in this very Farman, Mola has talked about the failure or not to think of a failure so many times, so many times, that one must think and pay attention. Who do you think Imam is speaking to? For most, he is speaking to the second group. And maybe even to the first group. And I will explain how and why. Remember, there were three groups. When Imam is talking about to keep in mind, there is no failure. Who is he talking to out of those three groups? At the top, as foremost, he is speaking to the second group. Because second group was the one who had come by saying the Isme Azam I had received before did not work for me. In other words, I have failed. And the first group who had forgotten the Isme Azam, maybe because maybe they forgotten the Isme Azam. Because after a while practicing, maybe they did not feel that this is my Azam is working for me. So maybe they stopped the practice and eventually they forgot that it's my Azam. But regardless, it doesn't matter if you were in part of first group or the second group. Imam is talking to all at the same time because Imam does not want to point out to the first group or the second group. Imam wanted to make them feel comfortable. Imam want them to understand. And what does Imam want them to understand? There is no failure. Because just sitting in the ibadat itself is success. Sitting, just sitting in ibadat is success. The minute, the minute that you sit in the ibadat, you have fulfilled Imam's wish, you have fulfilled your promise that you will wake up and sit, your niyat of sitting in ibadat is accepted. Your kurbani of waking up has been accepted. Look at all of the success points. All of the success points are there. If that is the case, there is no failure. Now we have Mola here जो फरमा रहे हैं कि जब आप इबादत में बैठे हैं तो एक चीज को अपने ज़ेन से निकाल दें कि इबादत में कहीं 
خدا نہ خاصہ ہم ناکام نہ ہو جائیں کیونکہ ناکامی کی تو کوئی بات ہی نہیں ہے اس کے اندر جیسا ہی آپ عبادت کے لیے اٹھ گئے آپ کامیاب ہو گئے کس طرح سے پہلا آپ نے امام کے فرمان کو مان لیا دوسرا جو آپ نے وعدہ کیا تھا کہ ہم عبادت کے لیے اٹھیں گے آپ اٹھ گئے تیسرا آپ کی نیند کی قربانی جو دی وہ قبول ہو گئی اور چوتھا آپ اگر وہاں آ کے بیٹھے ہیں چاہے پھر وہ پانچ منٹ ہو کہ پندرہ منٹ ہو کہ آدھا گھنٹہ ہو کہ گھنٹہ ہو آپ نے جو نیت کی تھی وہ قبول ہو گئی آپ نے دیکھا کہ کامیابی ہی کامیابی ہے عبادت میں ناکامی کا تو کوئی اندیشہ ہی نہیں ہے there is no way کہ کوئی آدمی یہ کہے کہ میں عبادت میں بیٹھا اور ناکام ہو گیا کیونکہ وہ بیٹھنے کے اندر ہی کامیابی ہے فرمان برداری ہے امام کو خوش کرنا ہے آپ کے وعدے کو نبانا ہے آپ کی قربانی قبول ہو گئی آپ کی نیت قبول ہو گئی تو پھر ناکامی کا تو کوئی دروازہ کھلا نہیں ہے وہاں پر ناکامی کی کوئی جگہ نہیں ہے وہاں پر کامیابی ہی کامیابی ہے انشاءاللہ but above all keep in mind that if you sit and you search there is no failure I am very insistent that you not fear failure there is no such thing as failure in this in this matter there is no failure all right I give each one of you special blessing for success in your search I personally personally feel that when Imam says to those murid who are sitting in front of him for the Betul Kyal bowl Imam's mercy Imam's Rehmat Imam love for them is much greater because you have come you have made Imam happy and when he is happy what does he do he shower you with his blessings so now with all of the blessings that you have received from the Imam Zaman that itself is a success that in itself is a success now if you sit in your ibadat then success the blessing for the success in your search khana wadan khana wadan khana wadan kyunki aap wahan par aaye aapne imam ko khush kar diya to fir imam ki barakat imam ki dua aashish hi aapke liye wo kamyabi hai ke aap yahan par aakar imam ko اتنا خوش کیا کہ امام کی رحمت اور امام کی میٹھی نظر آپ کے اوپر ہے اب اب ناکامی کا کوئی چانس نہیں ہے there is no way that one will be failed just because of the blessing surrounding those murid who were present there so don't fear failure if I feel my murids are fearing failure, I know that you are closing the door. I don't want you to close the door. All right? Mullah, what do you say? If you feel like you are scared now, you are scared now, then you are scared now, then you are scared now, that if you do this, then you will close your own way to do the door. دروازے کو بند کر دیں گے اور وہ اس کے اندر آپ کا بڑا نقصان ہو جائے گا so don't fear and don't close that door don't close that door on yourself because امام is opening the door for you to be successful with his blessing with the اسم آزم and with the نور 
which he is giving you with that ismay azam inshallah can you assure me you will not think of failure imam asking question can you assure me that you will not think of the failure jamaat said yes yes all right good just get rid of whole notion of just get rid of all notion of failure in this manner in this matter all right mola puchte hain ki kya aap mujhe khatri de sakte hain ke aap nakami ke bare mein nahi sochenge jab ibadat mein baithenge jamaat ke liye ji khudavand mola bolte hain theek hai fir aap is mamle ke andar nakami ka jo word hai na usko nikal de usko bol jaye if you are assuring me then just get rid of that word failure completely in this matter because there is no such thing is failure in this matter and i give you special special blessings for success and i assure you if you find that light if it touches you you will know you will know keep it to yourself it is individual here let's try to explore this part a little bit more as we have explored this part before sometime <clears throat> our friends on this line and outside this line do reach out to this garib and nachis and ask this question how would i know if a nur or the light would or have touched me how would i know and my answer is always repeating imam's word that is if this light touches you if this happiness touches your heart you will know it there will be no doubt in your mind that you have been touched by the light but i also understand why you asking that question here today we will understand the answer to their question why would you ask that question when nachis have said this and imam have repeatedly said that that when and if this light touches you you will know it there will be no doubt in your mind you know why you still don't understand and don't have that understanding of that nur and you have to ask again and again because you are looking for something of a physical you are looking for a light bulb that one day a light bulb will go on and because you are looking for that one particular physical thing because the light bulb has not gone on have gone on you are feeling that i have not been touched by the light so let's try to understand the light what is this light that imam is talking about kya wajah hai ke abhi bhi hame aisa lagta hai ya puchna padta hai ke mujhe kaisa pata chale ke is noor ne is roshni ne mujhe chhua hai jabki imam farmate hain ke jab ye noor ye roshni aapko chhuengi to isme koi bhi 
शक और शुभे की गुंजाइश नहीं होगी आप बिल्कुल समझ जाएंगे कि क्या हुआ फिर क्या वजह है कि लोग पूछते हैं कि मुझे कैसे पता चलेगा कि ये नूर ने ये रोशनी ने मुझे छुआ है उसकी एक वजह है ये सवाल पूछने की एक वजह है वो ये है कि हम शायद मादी रोशनी यानी कि लाइट की रोशनी को ढूंढ रहे हैं हम समझते हैं कि एक दिन हमारे दिल व दिमाग में कोई लाइट बल्ब ऑन हो जाएगा और लाइट बल्ब ऑन हो जाएगा तो मुझे पता चलेगा कि नूर ने मुझे छू लिया है जबकि हमें उस लाइट को समझने की जरूरत है चूंकि हमने उसको मादी रोशनी से ढूंढा है शायद इसीलिए हमें ये सवाल आता है कि मुझे क्यों ये लाइट बल्ब नजर नहीं आ रहा है मुझे ये रोशनी नजर नहीं आ रही है और हमारे दिल में डाउट पैदा होते हैं कि क्या अभी तक मुझे ये नूर ने छुआ है कि नहीं छुआ है बिकॉज वी आर लुकिंग फॉर अ फिजिकल मादी लाइट रोशनी वेन द नूर टच इज यू इन डिफरेंट वेज नूर कैन टच यू इन दॉर्म ऑफ इनलाइटमेंट नूर कैन टच यू इन दॉर्म ऑफ हैप्पीनेस नूर कैन टच यू इन द फीलिंग ऑफ लव नूर कैन टच यू इन दीलिंग ऑफ ब्लेसिंग नूर कैन टच यू इन सो मेनी डिफरेंट वे बिकॉज नूर is not just a light noor can be a spark and noor can definitely be a light but noor comes in the different shapes and forms if we are looking for this one single kind meaning a light bulb then there would be our misunderstanding of the noor because noor is not only and just a light noor comes in a different shapes and form noor can be can be just a happiness and noor can be in such a way that you feel blessed just the love and blessing in your heart you get up from the ibadat and you are just like i'm flying i'm i'm in the cloud that feeling something have touched me i did not see anything but i felt it that light because light comes in different shapes and form and remember we have a five senses why would it noor only be for the eyes only what about the ears what about the nose what about our taste what about our touch you see we have a five senses and noor comes in each one of those senses so there is a noor for the eyes there is a noor for your ears there is a noor for your tongue there is a noor for your touch so now agar hum ye baat samajh gaye hain ki ye roshni panch tarike se yani ke alag alag hamare jo senses hai aankhon se dekhna ha roshni bhi ho sakti hai aur chingari bhi ho sakti hai आवाज की सूरत में भी हो सकता है समझ की सूरत में भी हो सकता है खुशी की सूरत में भी हो सकता है सूंघने की सूरत में भी हो सकता है चखने की सूरत में भी हो सकता है और छूने की सूरत में भी हो सकता है नाउ 
with that question is answered with that understanding the noor can be in different shapes and form that question is answered and hopefully we have a better understanding of the light and the happiness when it will touch us now second part was keep it to yourself as it is individual it is not for the whole group or it is individual with his forefinger the imam made a movement going back and forward between him and individual in various parts of the room imam says remember it is individual between me and you between me and you between me and you very individual what does that mean that it is not only personal but so individual is like one on one between you and the imam because each experience is unique each experience is unique to you and is between you and your imam that is the reason that if you share your experience with someone they will not be able to understand because they may have some different experience they may have touch the light in some other shape and form how would you be able to explain that because they will say i had this happen and you will say i had this happen who's right who's wrong so keep it to yourself because it is between you and the imam is a man and it is very very individual so just keep it to yourself you will find it at different times of your life because not only that amazing part is you may have one experience today you may have a different experience tomorrow you may have multiple experiences multiple experiences throughout your life individually you will collect all of that happiness you will take all of those blessings individually and you will have at the end handful basketful of blessing and experiences you can see as you move forward with one experience to the second to the third to the fourth to the fifth and inshallah to the sixth and seventh you will have enough experience where you will understand more and more and more and then when imam comes back you can go back to the imam and say mola i want another bowl i want an additional bowl i want more of your blessing i have already been blessed but i would like more of your blessing because your blessing have helped me move forward now i understand it was your blessing i would like a little bit more of that how amazing would that be how happy would we make imam if we would go with that notion with that understanding by saying please i have been blessed but i need a little bit more blessing so i can move even further i wanted to go as much and as high as possible wouldn't that be great agar hum mola ke baad jaye ke mujhe ek martaba nahi mujhe do martaba nahi mujhe char martaba che martaba saat martaba is noor ne chua hai aur main chahta hu 
کہ میرے کو آپ اور دعائیں دے دیں مولا تاکہ میں اور آگے بڑھ سکوں یو ول فائنڈ اٹ ایٹ ڈفرنٹ ٹائمس آف یور لائف ان ڈفرنٹ سرکمٹینسز بٹ کیپ اٹ ٹو یور سیلف دس از انڈیویژل ٹو ایچ ون آف یو ایچ ون آف یو اور رائٹ آپ کو ان شاء اللہ بہت زیادہ علیحدہ علیحدہ بلیسنگس اور ایکسپیرینسز ہو گئے آپ اس کو اپنے تک رکھنا اور کسی سے شیئر نہیں کرنا اینڈ یو آر ان مائی ہارٹ یو آر ان مائی تھاٹس یو آر ان مائی پریئرس اینڈ آئی وش یو گریٹ سکسیز گریٹ سکسیز کھانا ودان کھانا ودان کھانا ودان بولا اور دو آشش کے ساتھ اور جب ہم امام کے خیالات کے اندر ہے ہمیشہ امام کے دل میں ہے ہمیشہ اور امام فرماتے ہیں کہ جب آپ عبادت میں بیٹھیں گے تو میں آپ کے ساتھ کھڑا ہوا ہوں میں نے آپ کا ہاتھ پکڑا ہوا ہے اب ناکامی کی تو کوئی بات ہی نہیں ہے یہاں پر دیر از نو وے دے وی کین فیل بیکاز ناٹ اونلی وی آر ان امام ہارٹ اینڈ تھاٹ امام سیز آئی ایم اسٹینڈنگ رائٹ نیکسٹ ٹو یو ہولڈنگ یور ہینڈ only there is one path and that is the path to success because he is your guide he is your wali the friend he is holding your hand then there is no chance of failure but only one path and that path goes towards the success inshallah mola says khana wadan khana wadan khana wadan now you are all at different level so there is a process so this murid meaning the missionary will give you the bowl that i have given to, for you now imagine this part there was a question right who will get what bowl imam knows who you are he can see you he can read your heart he can read your mind imam would leave multiple bowls for those who have forgotten give them this bowl those who were not successful in their mind give them this bowl and those murid who have come over here for the first second third fourth time give them this bowl and if there are those who have said we already have received more than two or three bowl give them this bowl you see imam has made it easier for all to receive the bowl regardless of what level or what stage you are and imam saying right here that there is a process and i i have given for you for you to practice an individual bowl and i wish you great great success continue the search sit in humility set aside worldly matter چونکہ مجھے پتا ہے کہ آپ کو کس چیز کی ضرورت ہے میں نے علیحدہ علیحدہ بول ان کو دے دیے ہیں مشنریز کو اور وہ آپ کو ایک پروسیس کے ساتھ گزار کر یہ بول عنایت کر دیں گے اور مولا فرماتے ہیں کہ بس آپ کنٹینیو کرنا اور اس کو آگے سے آگے بڑھانا دس از دی اینڈ آف دس فرمان اینڈ ان شاء اللہ نیکسٹ ویک we will read this new farman you have in front of your screen from karachi pakistan uh, december 15th of the same year 2017 inshallah so let me stop here then if you have more question or any comments anything you like to like me to repeat 
in Urdu or English, please let me know and we can go back and repeat that. G. Ji. Ji, sir, subhanallah, sir, subhanallah. Friends, uh, please uh, share your questions in the chat. Or you can use the hand, my, raise my hand feature to ask any questions. Or you can unmute your device. So there are no questions in the chat at this time. Hey okay, friends, please go ahead. If you have any question, you can unmute your device. It, it can be just a comment, whatever you understood out of this Farman. If you would like to make a comment, that will help all the other friends to understand how we are understanding this Farman. G. Yeah, Ali Madad. Sir, I'm humble try sir. सर जैसे आप समझाए ना जो मेरे को बहुत ज्यादा समझ में आया आज की दीदार जो होते हैं वो हमको फिजिकली बिल्कुल सोचना नहीं चाहिए और दीदार हमको पाई सेंस ऑर्गन जैसा मोला पापा दिए हैं तो हर सेंस ऑर्गन से हमको मोला दीदार दे सकते हैं अलग-अलग रूप में तो सर लाइक कि लेकिन मेरे दिल में यही हो रहा कि सर अगर मुझे सही समझ नहीं है ये सब चीज की तो हो सकता है कि दीदार हो भी जावे और मुझे पता भी ना चले तो ये तो बहुत बहुत समझना चाहिए ना सर तो मुझे इस पे समझना है और थोड़ा जी 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 सो माय सिस्टर लेट मी आई एम गोइंग टू जस्ट ट्रांसलेट व्हाट शी सेड अ ब्यूटीफुल कमेंट एंड अलोंग विद द कमेंट uh her humility aapki aajizi se qurban aapne bahut hi achhi tarah se samjhaya ke aap is baat ko achhi tarah samajh gaye hain ke sabse pehle zaruri hai ke hum farman ko samajh le jo maula de rahe hain taaki fir hum us baat ko samajhte hue ibadat ke andar baithe तो पहला नुस्खा जो आपने अर्थ फरमा दिया वो ये था कि जब हमको यही पता नहीं है कि किस किस तरह से हमें दीदार हो सकता है तो हमें कैसा पता चलेगा कि दीदार हुआ है तो ना चीज कुछ सैंपल के लिए सिर्फ समझाने के लिए मिसाल के तौर पर कुछ चीजें अर्ज कर देता है ताकि हमें उससे मदद मिले एंड आई विल कम बैक इन इन इंग्लिश no worries and i will repeat all of that jis tarah se kabhi kabhar hame machhar ki binbinat sunai deti hai ibadat ke dauran mein hum samajhte hain ki koi zahiri machhar hai nahi wo hamare batin ke kaan khul rahe hote hain aur wo bhi imam e noor e fahal likh le वो भी इमाम नूर फहाल की एक तजल्ली होती है आवाज की सूरत में यानी कि इमाम आपके कानों को खोल रहा होता है जब ऐसा हो तो हमें समझ लेना चाहिए कि नूर आ गया है और वो अपना काम कर रहा है क्या कर रहा है हमारे कानों को खोल रहा है ये वाले कानों को नहीं हमारे बातीन के कानों को खोल रहा है कभी कभार हमें कुछ बारीक बारीक यानी कि एक छोटी बच्ची की आवाज के तौर पर आवाज आती है और हम समझते हैं कि शायद बाहर कोई बात कर रहा है जबकि वह हमारे अंदर हमारी रूह जिंदा हो गई होती है और बोलने लगती है लेकिन एक बच्चे की आवाज में कि कहीं आप डर ना जाएं क्योंकि जोर से बोलेंगे तो आप डर जाएंगे एक छोटी बच्ची की तरह आवाज अंदर से आती है आपको तवज्जो देनी है फिर 
ये तो कान का माजिजा हो गया उसको समयी माजिजा या समयी नूर कहते हैं ऐसा नूर जो कान के जरिए से आता है फिर कभी कभार इबादत में हमें खुशबू आती है साबुन की खुशबू परफ्यूम की खुशबू हम समझते हैं शायद इधर कोई परफ्यूम लगा के रहा है लेकिन आप सोचे कि जमाज खाने के अंदर साबुन की खुशबू आ रही है या आप घर में बैठे हुए हैं तो कोई कपड़े तो नहीं धो रहा है इस वक्त क्योंकि आपका नाक जो है उसके लिए एक खुशबू एक नूर खुशबू की सूरत में आई है ताकि आपका अंदर का बातीन खुल जाए फिर कभी कभार हमारे जबान के ऊपर कोई टेस्ट आता है चूंकि मौला बापा को बिरयानी अच्छी लगती है तो हम बिरयानी की मिसाल ले लेते हैं आप इबादत में बैठे हैं अचानक आपके मुंह के अंदर टेस्ट आता है और उस टेस्ट के साथ खुशबू भी आती है बिरयानी की आप सोचे कि वो नूर किस तरह से काम कर रहा है वो नूर हमारी जबान पर बैठ गया है वो नूर हमारे नाक के अंदर आ गया है आपने देखा कि नूर की कितनी तजलियात है अलीदा अलीदा तरीके से नूर फहाल इमाम का नूर अलीदा अलीदा तरीके से काम करता है हम इंतजार कर रहे होते आंखों से आंखों से जो है कहीं वो स्पार्क नजर आता है बस स्पार्क होता है एक छोटी सा स्पार्क होता है कहीं पर वो अचानक से ऐसा लगता है कि कमरे के अंदर बत्ती खुल गई है हम आंखें खोलते हैं तो कुछ भी नहीं होता है फिर आंखें बंद करते हैं तो रोशनी नजर आती है आंखें खोलते हैं तो कुछ भी नहीं होता है क्योंकि वो बाहर नहीं है वो अंदर है या आंखों के सामने कोई तजल्ली आती है कोई दीदार आता है आंखें खोलते हैं तो नहीं है उससे ज्यादा बढ़कर कभी कभार हमें महसूस होता है कि हमारे हाथों पर हमारे कंधों पर हमारे सर पर किसी ने हाथ रख दिया है हमारे करीब कोई आ गया है और उसका हाथ हम पर है आप आंखें खोलते हैं तो कोई भी नहीं होता है ये अलीदा अलीदा महसूस है यानी कि इमाम आपको खातरी देता है आपको गारंटी दे रहा है कि देखो मैं आपके कितने करीब हूं क्योंकि इसके नूर की एक तजली नहीं है बहुत सारी तजलियात है बहुत सारे शेप्स एंड फॉर्म्स है जिससे वो आपको एक टच करता है आपके नाक जबान आपके चेहरे पर हाथ होना आपके सर पर हाथ होना आपके कान से सुनाई देना आपकी आंखों से अलीदा अलीदा चीजें दिखाई देना ये तमाम की तमाम उसके नूर की निशानियां है जैसा जैसा आप उस पर तवज्जो देंगे वैसे वैसे आपको अंदाजा होगा कि हो सकता है कि माजी में ये चीजें हमारे साथ वही हो और हमने उसको इग्नोर कर दिया हो नजरअंदाज कर दिया हो यानी कि वो नूर छू के चले गया हमें पता ही नहीं चला सो लेट मी रिपीट हेर इन इंग्लिश दिस वॉज ब्यूटिफुल कामेंट माई सिस्टर मेड नॉट ओनली दैट look at her humility that i don't know anything i would like to learn something even though she made a great comment there is there a possibility that because we were only and only looking for the desire of the noor in the form of the light then we may have missed other forms of touch happiness understanding enlightenment what about the sound what about the smell what about the taste what about the touch and what about different kind of vision may it be in the form of a spark or sometime you feel there is a light have gone on in jamaat khana you open your eyes there is no light because it was not outside it was inside or you feel a spark or you feel someone touching you 
someone is really close to you and his hand is on your head on your uh, cheek or on your shoulder how about all of those and you open your eyes and there's nothing there because imam's nur is called nur e fahal and imam's nur can take different manifestation forms it may comes in the form of a smell or test or sound or which vision and even in vision there are different vision in the sound there are different sounds and the two example i gave was the sound of a buzzing sound or sound of a small child speaking within yourself do not miss any of those because imam wants to open your batini ears he wanted to open your batini senses he wanted to open your batini eyes so he may come to you in different shapes and form inshallah g uh, so we have a question you may have answered it already but uh, i will ask uh, if you if you say five cents of receiving light what about sixth sense is it already the state of enlightenment right so of course you have to have all of the experiences before you can get to the sixth sixth or the i would want to say the complete ruhaniyat complete ruhaniyat cannot just come in the one go but is the collection of many experiences complete ruhaniyat is the collection of many experiences i hope you understand what i'm trying to say, tell you g all right so can you elaborate when the noor touches us how does it impact us in our daily lives for example noor in heart or eyes regardless of how the noor touches you it does change your daily life because now you have something which eight other billion people don't have you have been touched by the noor the light and the understanding you will hopefully your attitude will change you will be more humble you will be more calm you will be more serious in your life as you will be focused more and more toward your spiritual life paying more attention to your soul of course your daily life will be impacted by that meaning you will be paying less and less importance you still be paying attention to your physical life but the importance will be less as you will understand that physical life is temporary so you will give less importance to that meaning your attribution your habits the way you talk and walk will change slowly it's not going to happen suddenly slowly it will change g is uh, another question mala has mercifully reassured us that there is no failure in bandagi so just for my understanding is it okay for us to go back to mala and acknowledge that the bone he has given has not worked for us you could do that you could do that definitely but there is no way the ball would not work for you there is no way because just by saying the ball has not worked for me another word you are saying i have failed or worse the ball has failed me you see that when you say the ball has not worked another word you are saying i have failed or the worst you are saying 
that bowl has failed me. I would like to, uh, normally I don't like to give uh, uh, stories, but in one event, Imam Akka Sultan Muhammad Shah Sallallahu Alaihi, may my soul be sacrificed to that Imam, had a conversation in, in the old days when Imam would come for Jamaati work. Imam will interact with the Jamaat. One of the Murid came forward and told Mullah, Ya Mullah, my ball is not working for me. And Mullah said, are you doing everything which you are supposed to be doing? And he said, yes, Mullah, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. Mullah asked second question, are you punctual in your rites and rituals? He said, yes, Mullah, I am punctual in my rites and rituals. Mullah said, are you giving your dasan correctly? He said, yes, Mullah, not only I'm giving my dasan correctly, I'm giving more dasan than it is due on me. Before I tell you what Mola answered, what was wrong with all these answers? Think about it. What was the what was wrong with this answer that he was giving to Mola Baba? What was this? I don't know that the Doshon is going perfect. But I can't miss all that. You know what was missing? Humility was missing. Ajizi nahi thi waan par. Ajizi nahi thi. Agar uske jaga hum hote to kya bolte hai? Mola, mein to bhoot gunay gaar hoon. Mein koshish karta hoon. Phir jab Mola poochte hai, ke kya tum apne dua ibadat puri karte ho? Mein kata, ya Mola, koshish karta hoon, bhoot gunay gaar hoon. Galtiya ho jati hai. Kya tum dasan puri dalte ho? Mola koshish karta ho. Bhoot galtiya ho jati hai. Maaf kar do Mola. See, humility was missing. Now let me tell you what Imam answered. Imam ne kya farmaya iske baad? If you are telling me you are perfect in all of this, then either you are lying or I am lying. या तो तुम झूठ बोल रहे हो या मैं झूठ बोल रहा हूँ। Because I am telling you the ismaazam I have given you is the perfect ismaazam. There is no way the ismaazam will not work for you. There is no way. Well, I say either you are lying or I am lying. What example or what lesson we can learn from this example is if you Feel that if Isma Azam has not worked for you, how would you go there? You will go there with the humility. You will not say that I, this Isma Azam you have given not work for me, but you will say, Mola Baba, I am not able to successfully finish my Isma Azam. So please have mercy on me. Would you please give me another Ismay Azam? And Imam will happily will give you another Ismay Azam. And then when Mola Baba comes back, and if you go back again, Mola Baba give you another Ismay Azam. There is no limit. You can go one time, two times, three times, four times, five times. There is no limit. Go as many times as you like. Have the blessing on yourself. You see, what we are learning is to change the way we think. We need to change the way we look at Isma Azam. And I hope today we don't have the understanding the way we had yesterday. Mujhe umeed hai ki aaj hum wo baate sikhe hai jo kal humko pata nahi thi and with that understanding 
sit in ibadat, success will be yours. Imam blessing is with you. Imam himself is with you. And Imam's hand is on your shoulder. Remember, Imam's nur is so close to you that we can say is almost, not almost, definitely, not definitely, perfectly is sitting in you. Just have to do is open it. Just open it. L look at the word Imam is using. Search for that nur. Where would you search for that nur? Imam has already given to you. Is inside of you. Just search for it and find it. G. Great question. Thank you for asking, by the way. Yes, sir. There's another question. Uh, how can one know that he or she not imagining something then one is touched by nur? Well, when you open your eyes, you will know there is no one there and you have been feeling because this touch, what did Imam say? When this will happen, there will be no doubt. You see that? There will be no doubt. Keep your heart and mind open. It will touch you and you will know it. Yes, inshallah. G. Uh, I think uh, Shamim Saba, uh, Shamim Kaku, please go ahead. Yali Madat, sir. Sir, here we can talk about the knowledge of the knowledge of the knowledge. Absolutely. Because Noor jo hai, wo yahan se bhi aata hai, right? Samaj ki surat mein bhi aata hai. Aur is didar ke andar kabhi kabar hume ilm bhi diya jata hai aur hidayat bhi di jati hai. Yani ki ek ilm hota hai, sirf pure. Jo bodh baad mein jake hume samaj mein aata hai ki ye kya tha. Lekin kabhi kabar ilm ke saath hidayat hoti hai. جو فورن سے سمجھ بہا جاتا ہے کیونکہ علم اور ہدایت ساتھ میں ہوتی ہے چونکہ امام کا نور ہر طرح سے ہم کو چھوتا ہے تو علم تو سب سے اوپر ہوگا پھر کیونکہ علم کے ذریعے سے ہی سمجھ کے ذریعے سے ہی امام ہم کو آگے لے جاتا ہے ایفسلوٹلی یس تینکیو جی Ji, this time I think it's a Shamim Kaku. Ji, Shamim Kaku, please uh, unmute your device. Ji, I, I already done. Thank you. I think we have the question in the chat, sir. Uh, but Mola is not coming so often. After so many years, he gave bowl in Diamond Jubilee. So I think he's, uh, she's asking about the question, the two questions before. Right. So you are absolutely right. This Nachis and Garib have made my like lifetime goal, aim, purpose, to tell anybody and everybody who's listening as far as my voice can go in the Jamaat. Do not miss any opportunity ever. If Mullah comes every year, go. Go have the, take the blessing. Receive the blessing. If an Imam comes every five years, go. Do not miss any chance. If you are saying that you have missed the chance, no worries. No worries, you already have Ismay Azam. You already have a bowl. Continue on that. And Imam's blessing is with you. And next time, inshallah, soon, soon, when Mola Baba will come, you can go again. Do not miss a single opportunity to receive the blessing of the Imam. It is all about his dua, ashish, and blessing. It's all about that. So do not miss. As far as my voice is going, if you can hear me, 
do not miss the opportunity a chance to go whenever and as many time as possible when imam comes and gives isme azam ji Yes, sir. There are no questions in the chat. Okay. Any last comment or last question before we end this session today? Yeah, Ali Madad, sir. Yeah, Ali Madad. Your lecture excellent. Hai. May a chota sa, chota sa incidents jo meri ma ke saath hua tha. To wo main bata sakti hu bangi ke baare mein hi hai. Khali usne Memani me puchata. She was very young. She was only 16 or 18 years of age. Ham chote the to humko wo sunati thi ke me mola baba ko bolii memani pata ne pehle sab saath family hoti thi. To me mola ko puchi mola me bahot koshish karti hu. Me bahot zada koshish karti hu. Par mujhe tu nazar nahi aata hi baadat me me koshish karti hu. Usne bol pehle se le liya tha choti umar se. تو سلطان و مرشا خدا بھی جواب دیتے ہیں کہ دیکھو بیٹا یہ بنانا کی پلیٹ ہے میمانی میں تم لے کر آئے ہو یہ ایپل کی پلیٹ ہے اگر تم بنانا کا سوچتی رہو گی تو تمہیں بنانا دکھے گا اگر ایپل کا سوچتی رہو گی تو ایپل نظر آئے گا اگر میرا سارا وقت سوچتی رہو گی تو میں تمہیں واللہ نظر آ جاؤں گا سوال اللہ سوال اللہ سو اس جس دا ویجولائزیشن اور تھنکنگ کے امام کون ہے کتنا بڑا ہے اس نے پاورفل بول دے دیا ہے ہم لوگوں کو جس بول میں سب پاور ہے اس کے تو فیزیکل بینیفٹس اتنے سارے ہیں کہ I can't talk about it there's so much اچھا میرے کو بتائیں یاسین بین آپ کی مدر کتنی یا تھی میری ماں صرف سکسٹین کی تھی اس وقت لیکن نہیں بول جب ہی لیا تھا وہ کتنے سال کی تھی تھرٹین یئرز کی تھی so is there the story that we have been talking about I have talked about a 13 year old receiving Ismay Azam from Suza Muhammad Shah in the Suza Muhammad Shah's Golden Jubilee. Was that your mother? We, are, we, were, we have heard I about? I don't know about that. But like my mother was also a wife and her mother was also a wife. Right. So okay. She used to Fatima Nanavati. I don't know if you know. Okay. No. So she was going to take my mother to Sultan Umar Shah's bungalow. Mm -hmm. So then she took some money and took some money. So then she took some money and took some money. So then she took some money. تو پھر جب سولہ سال کی تھی تو یہ لوگ ہاں تو یہ لوگ فیملی کی وہ کرتے تھے نا میمانی تو اس میں اس نے بولا کہ بس میرا میرا سوچتے رہو تو میں ضرور نظر آ جاؤں گا سبان اللہ سبان اللہ بہت خوب بہت خوب تینک یو تینک یو تینک یو فور شیئرنگ تینک یو جی there was one other person wanted to say something یالی مدد عزیز سر یالی مدد سر آپ نے لاسٹ ٹائم علم سیشن میں بتایا تھا لاسٹ سیٹر دے کو آپ نے فرمان بتایا تھا ہم کو حاضر امام کا ٹو تھاؤزن کا کہ ایز مینی ٹائم ایز مینی ٹائم آئی ویل کم بیک یو کم بیک تو فرمان ہم کو مل سکتا ہے سر بے شک پلیس ایسولوٹلی یس کمی صاحب ایف یو شیئر یو انفرمیشن ہی کن ہیلپ یو اوکے تینکیو سر تینکیو سو مچ تینکیو یو ویلکم Sir, can I say something? Thank you, sir. Sir, this example, which is not the example of my mother, is that if you think about it, you will get a banana, and if you think about it, you will get an apple. So, can I understand that we were thinking that we were not looking at Ali Papa, or we were not looking at Ali Papa, we were not looking at Ali Papa, we were not looking at Ali Papa, we were not looking at Ali Papa. तो अपन ऐसा सोचना कि याली पापा अपने को मिल रहे हैं याली पापा अपने को दिख रहे हैं तो ऐसा पॉजिटिव ही सोचेंगे तो अपने को याली पापा दिखेंगे इसका मतलब ऐसा ले सकते हैं सोचो कि दो एक चीज बोलें या नहीं एक्चुअली थोड़ा सा इसको चेंज करने की जरूरत सिर्फ थोड़ा सा मतलब क्या फरमाते हैं कि अगर आप اس لئے ہم ظاہری روشنی کو ہی ڈھونڈتے رہ جاتے ہیں 
जबकि रोशनी और दीदार बहुत से अलग अलग किस्म से आता है तो मुला क्या फरमाते हैं कि आप बोल का सोचेंगे और बोल के ऊपर तवज्जो देंगे और बोल में से जो नूर है उसका सोचेंगे तब आपको जाकर बोल ही से वो नूर मिलेगा लेकिन अगर आप जाहरी चीजें सोचते रहेंगे जैसा कि नाचीज ने लाइट की एग्जांपल दी तो वो जाहरी लाइट नहीं होगी क्योंकि वो जाहरी लाइट का जो हमारा जो ख्याल है वो इतना लिमिटेड है छोटा है कि हम खाली जाहरी लाइट का सोचते हैं कभी लाइट जल जाएंगी बस तो ऐसा नहीं होने वाला है तो जाहरी को छोड़कर दुनियावी चीजों को छोड़कर आप आराम से बैठे ताकि मोला आपको वो देवे जो देना चाहता है वो जिस तरह से देना चाहता है क्योंकि मोला तो अलग अलग रास्ते ढूंढता है कभी यूं देता है आपको कभी यूं देता है कभी यूं देता है तो मोला यहाँ पर ये समझा रहे थे कि अगर आप जाहिर सोचेंगे तो आपको जाहिर मिलेगा लेकिन अगर आप बातीन का सोचेंगे तो आपको बातीन मिलेगा आप अपने इसमें आजम पर तवज्जो दें ताकि वो उस इसमें आजम में से आपको नूर भी मिले आपको दीदार भी मिले और आपको तमाम किस्म का दीदार मिले क्योंकि दीदार इतनी किस्म के हैं कि जो हम समझ नहीं पाते हैं क्योंकि वो इतने अलग 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 इंडिविजुअली यूनिकली दीदार होते हैं तो जितनी भी मिसालें देंगे वो कम हो जाएंगी फिर तो ये मोला समझा रहे हैं हमको कि जाहिर का ना सोचे आप बस जी थैंक यू थैंक यू सर शुक्र थैंक यू यारी मदद सर यारी मदद डॉक्टर साहब आई थिंक आई जस्ट वांटेड टू ऐड वन लाइट ऑफ इमाम फरमान व्हेन इमाम सेज दैट व्हेन यू आर सिटिंग इन बंदगी व्हाट आर यू डूइंग व्हाट आर यू सीकिंग यू आर ट्राइंग टू कम क्लोजर एंड क्लोजर एंड क्लोजर टू ही हु इज अबव ऑल एल्स तो you are coming trying to come closer to the noor ali allah or allah who is all about else or is tara uske andar jo hai na allah no physical things no physical attributes so you are trying to come something which is unknown but then as we discuss imam says that when you get touched you will know it and we have to be sure belief in that subhanallah thank you subhanallah Absolutely, thank you, sir. G. G. Lela, please go ahead. Yeah, Ali Madad. Yeah, Ali Madad. Sir, ah, वो बताते हैं आप. मैंने एक बार इसमें सुना था कि अगर आप पूरी जमात के साथ बैठे हुए इबादत करते हैं तो कोई एक रूहानी की इबादत से सबको फायदा होता है तो कैन यू इलेबरेट अट ऑन दैट श्योर एब्सोलूटली आपने कभी बार बारिश होते हुए देखी है जी जब बारिश होती है तो वो रोड पर भी गिरती है बिल्डिंग पर भी गिरती है इंसान पर भी गिरती है खेतर पर भी गिरती है जानवर पर भी गिरती है राइट right? और जहां पर बारिश नहीं हो रही है ज्यादा यानी कि थोड़ा दूर भी है तो वहां पर भी पानी के छींटे उड़ते हैं नाउ टेक दैट एग्जांपल दैट वन अमंग द हंड्रेड सिटिंग इन द जमात खाना दैट इज द रीजन दैट वी सपोज टू गो टू जमात खाना फॉर इबादत बिकॉज वी आर नो वरी वीक राइट वी आर सो वीक दैट वी आर नॉट एबल टू बी Uh, finish our ismi azam so what do we do we sit amongst those who are great and successful in ibadat and when the noor will be showered on him or her then maybe just a little bit of those spark the blessing will be touched on your heart in the reference of hazrat musa in the quran okay those who are 
and there are two references those who are in the light in the noor and those who are around the light and the noor they are both blessed they are both blessed second reference is that there are eight angels who are carrying the throne the noor of allah those who are around them are also blessed you see that is so important that we understand that especially those great mu'minin bhagas if we are sitting with them then their blessings their nearness to us also will be felt by us and that is the one great reason for us to go to jamaat khana for ibadat ji so, sir wo member jis ek ruhani ki wajah se jisko sabko bhi benefit milta hai they will feel the same experience as the not necessary chite udte hai na us par barish ho rahi hai okay us par barish ho rahi hai hum par chite udenge so how do we i know that it's somebody else's bandagi oh, we don't need to know that right because uh, we don't know which one of those 100 sitting in jamaat khana is successful we don't know that right so we just take it as it is that imam is blessing us and because we are using our humility we are saying mola papa i know this is not because of me this is not because of me it must be one of this great momini sitting around me that's the part of the humility ji okay good okay. great question ji thank you alhamdulillah thank you ji lala you raise your hand do you want to ask question you can unmute your device i just talked to okay it was a different person raised the hand okay So I think we have some question in the chat. So can I say if you have naqsh and have concentrated on it as you start ibadat and then it disappears from vision because you are in full concentration, is that okay? That is perfectly okay, absolutely. Because if you are into it, then you don't need anything, right? You are into it. Yes, that is absolutely okay. Okay, sir. Sir, you said throne of Allah. So Ayatul Kursi is it refers to intellect? Hmm. That's a, a complicated question because. throne of allah or the arsh of allah equals to noor and the noor equals to anything and everything so by default you can say absolutely it is intellect or universal intellect universal soul and all of the above right because that definition is so broader we cannot just close that into the one single word or language because if we say it is only intellect then again we have a short answer if we leave it on a open broader answer because noor is in everything so we can say is much broader answer than just one word G. All right, sir. We have another question. This is something new for me. Can online bandagi will work if we all perform five minutes bandagi here and there? <laughs> sure. Why not? Ali Allah is so great and so merciful. Now he can also help us virtually. He has no limit. <laughs> why not? <laughs> good question see people are looking for shortcut not to go to jamaat khana 
I love you dearly, my brother, my sister, whoever is asking. <laughs> G. So don't, don't have any questions in the chat. All right. So let's stop here. Um, yeah, yeah, sir. Can I? Uh, yeah, मेरे को एक कंफ्यूजन है पता नहीं मैं प्रॉपर्ली समझ सकती हूं कि नहीं पर फिर डर भी है एक एक्चुअली मेरा एक्सपीरियंस मैं बता एक्सप्लेन करना चाह रही हूं मैं अंडरस्टैंड करना चाह रही हूं कि ये मेरे ख्याल में आप यहां पर ना करें अगर प्राइवेटली आप करना चाहते हैं तो नाचीज को फोन कर लें श्योर थैंक यू बिकॉज़ यू डोंट वांट टू शेयर योर एक्सपीरियंस जी थैंक यू आलिम दैन क्या आलिम दैन यू यू हैव माय कांटेक्ट राइट you can contact me yes sir thank you yali madad okay yali madad yali madad all right so let's stop here inshallah we have another session this afternoon and we will meet again later on inshallah fir dopahar ko milte hain ek aur session ke sath yali madad everyone thank you for joining yali madad Yali Madad Sir, Mola Sukhi Salamat Aabad Amin, Amin